Um, I see you got one of my favorite CDs back there. Which joint? The one you're looking at right now. That State yeah. Property one. I'm at Doom Drunk. Oh, State Property? Now, yeah, they had that was my song that, uh, Mommy, do you want me? I'm yeah. going to do it these days, too. That was my yeah. shit. Yeah. I like, I like that movie still. I like both movies still. That was my nah, shit. Nah, they classics, man. Yeah. Yo, hey, welcome to the, the Just Two, Two Black Brothers. I'm DJ BJ Pierre here. That's politic. We got the homie. We got the Prince, man. Representing uh, you, you, you from San Diego? Born and raised, San Diego. Raised, man. Look, it's an honor, man. You know, I, I, I got my start in Diego. So, oh, what? We both met in the Marines. We were stationed at Camp Pendleton in 2002, 2002 time frame. So, we down to uh, the, the, uh, the five and the 80. And a little 76, 78, all them little roads that uh, uh, lead here. I oh, live in Chula, in Chula Vista, right by the border. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah South Bay, okay, for sure. Yeah, yeah for sure. Oh, man, welcome to Elka, man. You know, we, look, look, we, I'm just a little bit. Is it echoing a little? It's kind, it's kind of like a little delay, but. Uh, okay. All right, go ahead, Paul. I'll fix my mic. But yeah, man, look, we we, we, we appreciate stopping by the Just Two Black Brothers, though. Brothers, though. No, I was, um. I was gonna tell you what I thought was funny. I don't know if you heard this shit. They were saying you saw a drum line before, right? Yeah. They were saying Memphis Bleak posed to be Nick Cannon. What? I no. know he was saying no he was yeah, he said Jay Z got mad at him because uh he didn't want to play the role, but he said he was just nervous and thought he couldn't do it. But he was saying like he 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 supposed to play that role. How you think that would have turned out? Man, that movie would have been completely different. <laughs> uh, I can't imagine that one. I don't know. I know. I, I was like, man, that should be looking crazy as hell if he was playing that role. Because I'm just speaking of state property. You know, I just remember from state property when he was Blitz. Yeah, uh, that's the only role he had. So I, I didn't, I didn't see that range from you know they needed the drum line. Uh, Nick the superstar, man. Yeah, he but yeah, man. So uh, yeah, I'm saying I'm actually on Ocean Side. What part of San Diego are you in now? Um, I'm I'm on the West Side. So uh, Ocean Side's about. 45 north of where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm in Claremont area. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah I was telling I was talking about it earlier, man. I said shit, you don't even I was listening to the music, man. You remind me from you remind me like an East Coast rapper. You wouldn't even yeah. sound like you from the West. It, it's been like that since like middle school, high school. Yeah, you know you mean? born and raised in San Diego? Born and raised, man. Born and Damn. raised. Damn. So yeah. how you end up how you get your sound? Um well, middle school, high school, got with a crew. You know what I'm saying? The crew, the dialect was already there. The slang was there. So it's just, you know, you, you are who you hang out with. You know what I'm saying? You just stuck ever since. So the group of, creep, the group of people I was with in high school, uh, my freshman year, they had a little crew, you know, a little graffiti crew, but they was doing a little everything. You know what I'm saying? A little hustling. You know what I'm saying? They was they was nerds, though. They was, they was ill right here. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, the book game was crazy. So they was just, they took me in. Sharing a whole lot with me and it just transformed my mind, you know what I'm saying? But like I always tell people, like I was, I don't think I was they the one that introduced me into like what culture really was. So from there, I did my research and it's like I kept going back. I like for example, I kept I went from the 2000s to the 90s and to the 80s, like all through our high school, you know what I'm saying? And it's just in Embraced everything, you know what I'm saying? But so it, it was mainly through them. The dialect was already there, like everything, everything. You know what I'm saying? The way I talk, that's how they was talking. Like, and it's just, it just stuck, really. Yeah, I would say, I know it's the 50 years of hip hop right now. So what what era would you say influenced you the most right now? Uh, definitely golden era, you know what I'm saying? But I, I, I would also say like, damn, man, like, Cool G, you know what I'm saying? Daddy Kane, like, they, it was something else. It was something else, man. I feel like I was born in the wrong era type shit. But mainly Wu-Tang, you know what I'm saying? 93, 94, 95, you know what I mean? Maybe even some pun, 99, 98, you know what I'm saying? So um, def I definitely say the golden era, though, without a doubt. Without a doubt, man. Man, I was, I was trying to make sure I said your name right. How you say your name? Is it just Boo Boo? Boo Boo the Prince, word. Okay, I would say I, I, was, I, was, I was I was thinking I was like it look like Boo Boo, but actually, I might be saying that shit wrong, man. Yeah, nah, I, I, I always I always get the Bubba all the time. <laughs> Boo Boo, man. Bubba is yeah. two B's always, man. You know what I'm saying? Like Bubba Sparks or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? 
So, so just let us know how you started. Uh, yeah, Bubba Sparks. <laughs> now I'm saying, so let's let us know how you came up in San Diego. Well, man, so, um, first of all, um, mainly every any outsider see San Diego as a vacation city, um, a marine city, you know what I'm saying? Um, but there's always, there's always that if you seek, you find, you know what I'm saying? So in Claremont, you know, even within the city, like it's not really glamorized. We ain't had nobody that ever came out of Claremont. Everybody ever came out south the south bay. You got Ray Mysterio, he came out of Chula Vista. You got Mitchie Slick, came out of Southeast. You know what I'm saying? But nobody from the west side. So for me, like they call it the burbs, you know what I'm saying? Because the style of housing and shit. But the way I mean, it's something, it's something I don't really even debate with cats because. Yeah, like they was homes, but the way the way I seen ever since the age of five, it was way different. You know what I'm saying? Like the perspective was way different. Like I've seen, you know what I'm saying? Like not to get too much of the details, but you know, dudes putting in work, cousins putting in work. You know, I'm, uh, uh, you know, I, I'm young at the time, right? Five, six, seven, eight, nine years old. You know, uh, come from a bloodline of gang members, my my siblings, my cousins, and all that. So ops was coming to my auntie's crib. They was coming off crib, you know, disrespecting our parents. Uh, so basically, it was hood. It was nice, but hood. <laughs> it's it's crazy. Like it's it's you, you know you know how it is. Like you know, an outsider. Me me personally, right? I bring outsiders over, and they're like, yo, like what? It's nice over here. Like oh, ain't nice, no yeah. you know empty buildings. And I get it. I get the perspective. But you know on. the the at West Coast versus the East Coast is is, is way different. You know what I'm saying? The yeah. East Coast get the ba- abandoned buildings, right? Abandoned blocks and all that. Over here, it's, it's just yeah. It's a, they see them palm trees. They think it's sweet out here. You know what I'm saying? And L A are L A already established as like you know what I'm saying. They got the movies to the depict all that. You know what I'm saying? But we two hours and a half south. We we border town. We like ten minutes from the border. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know so. uh the perspective is real different, but I, I I never argue with people. So growing up, um, the gang activity was heavy, heavy, heavy. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so was it like? So what was it like? Find out? Was that? <laughs> it's like fuck around and find out. Yeah, basically, <laughs> man. Basically, everybody everybody had a cousin, a uncle. You know what I'm saying? Who who was related somehow? You know what I'm saying? Even my pops when he came, he, he you know he, my pops an immigrant from Mexico. When even when he came over here. Like he had no option type shit. You know what I'm saying? He was grinding this shit, but it's just like the same people who were grinding with him happened to be a cousin or an uncle or a relative of a gang member. And next thing you know, they're hanging with him. You know what I'm saying? So um yeah. that's that's basically how it was, you know. Me personally, you know, I got I feel like God saved me on that one, you know, because I, I could have done something stupid a long time ago, but I was just always around it all my life. So it was, you know what I mean? It's just shit. Shit get tricky, man. Shit get tricky oh, yeah, for, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Out, out, out that way, you, like, like you said, you're the town. So it's all kind of kind of function, movement going down there that you can easily, easily get involved in. It's, right it's, guys, it's right a little guys. too easy. For a lot of them. Too right. easy, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so so yeah, so those are your early influences, man. Like anybody, anybody. Cause like how you want here from San Diego, man. Cause you know, we over the years we just talk a lot, talk a lot about San Diego as that's kind of like what we started. So started. So we, you know, it felt like it felt like San Diego didn't get. People say San Diego, San Diego rappers don't rappers don't click. There. They they selfish, selfish kind of stuff. They, what you feel about the San Diego, San Diego rap scene right now? Uh, the rap scene itself, <clears throat> I stay away from one thousand percent. Plenty of reasons, you know what I'm saying. It could, but I could also be speaking in a perspective where I haven't even tapped in. So I could I could just. I can maybe be talking out of like what I see from the outside. Like I'm not in it, so I can't really, you know what I mean? But there's been times where like the locals would be like, yo, come hang with us. Like you got to hang with us to be part of it, like to be a rapper. Like I'm like, nah, I ain't doing none of that. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But long story short, like these artists, at least because because you have you have you have your gangster rappers, right? That's dominant in the West Coast. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, the Mitchie Slicks and the descendants of Mitch, Mitchie Slick whole lot of factions and all that. Um, that shit bubbling. You know what I'm saying? They got the direct connect to LA. That shit bubbling crazy. But when it comes to the shit I do, less than a handful. This grimy shit that we do is less than a handful. But other than that, it's the 
backpackers. You know what I'm saying? The people yeah. who are at all the local shows every weekend, performing at all the open mics. You know what I'm saying? Just they really want the local crown so bad. You know what I'm saying? They try to sell well, you. Dude, too. <laughs> you said, huh? I, should, I should just pull up at the little fun functions, the little, we, we the little functions at the they up there. It's like 10 artists on the on the bill. They wrap it to the chairs because they know why you're there. But <laughs> <laughs> it's just. It's just you go to a local and it's like, no, not, you know, it's starting to bubble. Thank God. It's starting to bubble. You know what I'm saying? Promoters is getting right. It's starting to get to vision. You know what I'm saying? I'm connecting with them. Yo, this, this, this. Everything's starting to, it's, it's going the right direction. You know what I'm saying? But initially, like I say, like 2019, before, before like I hopped in, um, before I started witnessing, it was, it was, that's all that was, a whole bunch of locals thinking they hot, like, and they all homies and they be at every show, every weekend, like performing all the time. It's like, yo, it's not like, You've been rapping for like since I was in middle school, and you're still in the same place. Like, oh, come nah, on! Like, them you only started in 2019. Yeah, full fledged 2019. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's okay. what's up. Yeah, that's man, it's up. um. You sounding good for that? That's that's. I thought you were gonna say longer than that. No, nah, I've been I've been rhyming for a while. I was battling in high school, uh, freestyling in middle school. But as far as like uh, you know, like taking like, it's like, main, basically, like mainstream full time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, stepping out. You know what I'm saying? Leaving the state, going out, you know, doing that shit. I, I did, uh, I think it was like, I made, I made Ito 2018. By February 2019, I was on tour with him. Oh, you work uh, with Ito too? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm under his label. Whoa. Okay. At New Crack Era. So, so oh, he, New Crack Era. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's dope. So, so. I know so, Poke, I know Poke I, like you a lot. Poke, yeah. cause been interviewing, he did interview almost, almost all the San Diego cats, or no of them, of them. Who'd you say? Paul, I know. I Paul. He Paul. He been interviewing a lot of San Diego artists. I know, like, like I know one Teddy Teddy Benson. Who do Shaq? What's his name? Uh, uh Shaq. But Ito, ain't he from Rochester? Yeah, he from Rochester, New York. Yeah, well, that's oh, from up here. Yeah, Ito. Yeah, Ito. That's the one. Um, man, he funny though, cause last time I talked to him, I had a bald head, and then I ended up going dreads because of him. So I always gonna remember him. Yeah, Ito. He from Rochester. Yeah. <laughs> oh, in Brooklyn. Look. Um, yeah, in Brooklyn right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I had met him, man. Let me break that down for y'all if, if that's yeah. if that's okay. So the promoters, you know, what I'm saying they have brought out Benny. I think they brought out Benny El Camino. 2017, 2018. They from my section. They from Claremont for real, for real. So, you know, what I'm saying I had already, I had always had a rapport with them. It just I put out a freestyle over I think it was over the uh the New York State of Mind beat by Nas I put it out I, I sent it to him my homie X and uh, he was like yo I'm bringing Ito out you familiar and I'm like yeah I've heard that name before you know what I'm saying uh, and he was like yeah we bringing him out to the city you want to open up you know what I mean and I was like shit let me take it a step further let me drive y'all around you know what I'm saying provide some goodies you know what I'm saying a little something something here a little honey bottle whatever like. Let me let me you know, let me show y'all a good time. At the time, I was you know what yeah. I'm saying in a different lifestyle. You know, wasn't married, didn't have no kids, so shit was real different. You know what I'm saying? So, um, <clears throat> Ito flew out. You know what I'm saying? Um, I was quiet the whole weekend, providing goodies, making sure everything good, smooth, driving them around, restaurant, uh, fucking mall, all that. Um, and it wasn't until the show happened. You know what I'm saying? We was in a VIP and I was like, I think I was like, like I said, it was my very first time uh, <laughs> stepping on the stage. So I was the very first opener. You know what I mean? And uh, I was like, yo, I'll be back and do my thing. And he's like, okay. He thought I was going to go outside. I'm up there rocking. And uh, I see him in the back. You know, he's small. He's he real small, right? He like, boy, that's, yeah. that's my boy. He's small as hell. And I'm looking. I see him in the back and he's he going like this. I'm like, yo, what is he trying to say? I do my thing. I get off. I go back to the VIP section. He's like, yo, what the fuck was that? And I'm like, what? He's like, I didn't know you rhyme. I thought you was just like a security. Like, I thought you was just a driver. Like, I don't know you was rhyming like that. And I'm like, yeah, man. It's like, it's my first time. He's like, well, he starts losing his mind or whatever. But we just had a rapport that night. You know what I'm saying? And it wasn't until after the show. You know, uh, my man Hex got us into the studio, and Ito was like, "Yo, I'm fucking with, you know, I'm fucking with Boo Boo. Like, let's do yeah. something." So, we we got a joint in. You know what I'm saying that night, and I told him like, "Yo, 
you got a video man out in Rochester, I'll take the trip next week type shit. You know what I'm saying? He's like, if you're serious, holler. I think it was like two weeks after that we flew out to Rochester. My yeah. first time being in Rochester, my first time being anywhere in New York City. I, sh- man, I never, I never witnessed a cold like that in my life. As it was like, no, I, I'm, in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in Brooklyn right now. It's cold. And like today, no. we got up. It was like 37. I was like, damn. Uh, but then it turned 60 by noon. So it's like, come on, man. I don't know what's going on out Up, here, upstate man. was real different, man. Really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was- it was not, crazy because all cold and it's open, it's open, so it's air coming. Yo, there was there was a snowstorm that night. My first time witnessing the snowstorm. <laughs> it was crazy. It was crazy, and the, and everybody was acting like it was normal, and I was wilding out like, yo, what the fuck? Like, you know what I'm saying? So, um, long story short, uh, that's how I met E. You know what I'm saying? We just started building a rapport. He brought me on tour. We had did Jersey City, we did Philly, Rochester. And they even came to the West and we did LA two times and then we came to my city. So by the time my city came, we was the last date. He was like, yo, what's up? Like, you want to start your own faction, a new crack era? You know what I'm saying? West Coast. The rest is history. You know what I'm saying? So we just been waving that flag and shit. You know what I'm saying? So That's how you linked up with him too? Nah, he, he, my linked up with him, it was last... It was like last summer, I think, when, when they came over to uh to LA, they performed um Griselda came. I forgot what that that venue was called, but it was through my man Grizz. He shoots photos for me and shit. And he had a he got he has a rapport with BSF because he had went on tour with Griselda and shit, you know, shooting photos and all that. So it, it had went through him. And um, yeah, we started building a rapport. You know, cool dude, man, cool dude about business. You know, I respect that about people. They don't do too much. They don't do too less. They, Yo, they just do the rap, rap and keep it pushing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, they cool people's like you know. So you got you got people with ego tripping and all that. Oh, like yeah. man, I deal with that all the time. Even legends you meet that it's like, man, what a bummer, man, for real. But him, cool people, man, real good people about his business. You know what I'm saying? Man of his word. You know what I'm saying? Keep pushing, and he's cool on top of that. So that's what's up. So yeah. look, so look, look, man. So, so you said, so you said, pops was uh, mom too, but, but both parents Mex- Mexican. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both immigrants. All right. How 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 do the other other how does or right, because look, we we know some we know some uh, uh, Mexican rappers out of Dago. Some of them want to be labeled that Chicano rap. Some are just what some are just what they just ra- they just rappers. So do you get some flack from the uh, Chicano scene if you don't rap? You not rap, you not rapping like or how's how's that working for you? For you? Um, <laughs> I try to. I know you don't sound you don't sound like a ch- Chicago, and that and that's they and that's the lane that they have. So it's like, damn, yeah. this dude, this dude is a he make it, he rap, but he ain't, he ain't. So do people do that as like you slighting chicken Chicano rapping away? Or? No. Um. Well, look, look. First and foremost, right? I grew up on that. You know what I'm saying? My mm-hmm. brothers, my sisters, my cousins. That's all they would play Chicano rap. You know, over here, you got the little Robs, the Mr. Shadows, little profile. Kid rapper. Frost, Frost, Kid shout Frost, out all, all that. that. They Godfathers and all that. But at the time, like, that's all it. That's all it was. That's all I grew up on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it wasn't until I discovered like the shit that I'm on, like all that shit you see on that wall, like it's it changed up. Blue, so, hey, blew your, hey, blew your mind. Like, whoa, there's some shit out there. It was something <laughs> different. Like it, it felt like yo, like. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but it's crazy because all my homies are like, you know what I'm saying? Homie from the section and shit, they all gangbang. So, you know what I'm saying? It's just crazy because like, they don't say nothing. They don't say nothing about it. Like, you're like, yo, do what you do. And they, they come up to me like, yeah, like, they, t- they, t- they talk of it like a dialect, try to, oh, yeah, that's right, son. That's right, son. Like, get him. You know what I'm oh, saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They told us, they got the long songs and all that. Like, yo, that's right. That's it. Like, Get it popping, son. Get it popping. I'm like, yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? So, but as far as like that lane, nah, man, I stay away, bro, because um, and it, and it's not even necessarily like uh the Chicano rap is more popping in LA, but they got this, they got this like new gangster rap that's like uh everybody uh they, they sound in like the um the like YG. <laughs> nah, not nah, even that era is like what's kinda, that dude name, Poe? Do, do, do he rap with a shirt off? Off shirt off, off. I forgot his name. He all right I, though, but I know that's my boy though. That's my boy. Yeah, Mexican what's it? OT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mexican OT. Nah, he hard. Oh, though. he from Houston though. 
Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Different. That's right. He from the, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was on the beat. Nah, nah, nah. Too, I think. Okay, what's that one dude who just passed? Drake, yo, Drake, Draco, the Draco, dude? Draco. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That that style. Mm -hmm. That's what that's what all the essays are doing now. Like that's what that's the kind of style. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, it's just, yeah. uh, but I stay away. I stay away from all that. I'm gonna keep it a stack because it's just they, they reckless. It's too reckless. There ain't no business. Like it's like, you know what I'm saying? I'm good, man. I'm in this to make the yeah, bread. I feel you that. You, you got Tyson on your hand? Yes, sir. You a boxing fan like that? Yes, sir. That's so are we. Up. So are we. That's what. Hey, look. They did they rob? Did they rob Francis Naganu against Fury? Big time. What? Facts. Soon. I, I bet Fury, Fury probably thought uh, uh, he wasn't gonna do nothing to him, but but he got. High. I was like, damn. Yo, and you know, and you know this real quick, real quick. You notice know uh, when they was doing the media training, he was playing stupid, like he don't know what he was doing. Yeah. You know right. <laughs> but nah, man, that boy got one of the meanest hooks ever. Me and I, I, I feel like he should have hit him with an uppercut too. But that that hook was like. But Tyson weak, man. He just like tried to just shove. He real big, real big. Wait yeah. on you a lot. He weak, man. He got no, no he not tech. What, what what boxer? Who who your favorite boxer right now? Right now. Um, if I'm biased, I say Canelo, right? But let, let's let's take out Canelo. Uh, if it ain't Canelo, uh, it's for sure. It's for sure, Caleb Plant. Oh yeah, I was thinking Caleb Caleb Plant. I like Caleb Plant. Like, I, I think I think for me, is. it's never about. Who carries the old the longest? That shit never mattered to me. That shit's all clout. Like, who the most technical? Who got who got that dog in them? Like, you know what I'm saying? That to me, that's like, you know what I mean? Old school. I like Shakur Stevenson, Stevenson, but I think he gonna they gonna catch him one day though, cause cause he he real he 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 he, he told me not backing it up. So yeah, nah you know? nah, he, he like one of the most technical. Like he 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 know what he doing. Like. He, but I just, for me, he's just too, like, too new still. You know what I'm saying? He hasn't had any mega fights. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, he hasn't been taken taken to the trenches and all that. You know what I mean? You don't I like Garcia? You don't like Garcia? Uh, damn, man. No, y'all just kicked him to the curb, huh? <laughs> I'm going to keep it a stack, like. His people go to my work. They go to my job. His pops, his moms, his brothers. His mm. They go to my work. So when they come, I'm like, yo, man, like, yo, like you, you know, when we were back, we, I tell his pops, like, yo, you make us good money, man. We bet on y'all all the time. But at the same time, like the whole, and that clout shit be crazy, man. Like, I don't know, man. Nah, speaking of clout, that shit crazy how, like, they was talking about, like, um, Ruiz basically kind of like, um, Oh, yeah, big time. Yeah, like, because he was trying to fight Wilder, but then he was asked for too much money. Then now Ooh. he ain't got no fights. Ruiz, Andy Ruiz. Oh, damn. Like, boy. you see how he can't get no fights? Hey, now? he wanted a convey. Look, you know, you know hey, Bust Bus, he ain't got shit on Bus, Bus Douglas and Ruiz, bro. I was like, I was at the fight when he beat um, um uh, Joshua oh, out here, exactly? at, here at Madison at the Garden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so everybody was like, "His money they put on Joshua that night, boy." But it was, he shocked the world. But he, what he do after that? Damn oh, man, he he let that shit get to his head for sure. He <laughs> Wait, take advantage. But I, I never seen it like. I mean, I guess like you said, the bust of Douglas happened, but I never seen it happen in real life in my eyes. And I'm like, damn, that shit was like like the next fight. He's like, shit, it was over <laughs> for him. That I know that shit crazy to have it that quick and to lose it that quick. Yeah. I know that shit fuck with him because that like. You didn't really get to enjoy it, really. One hit wonder. Yeah, that shit. Man. I know it messed with him. Then, like I said, he can't even hardly get no fights now because now he they he proved he's too dangerous. So people don't want to fight him. You know what I'm saying? So he's like, damn. Nah, man. That's, that's crazy, shit. crazy. Hey, hey, look, we're gonna go into this more cream, man. I yeah. know you're working on a lot, and then we come out, and then we come back talk about the label and the crew. But I'll let the people listen to this. Uh. So uh, what's the song about, man? I already know it's about more cream, but what's what's it what's it to you? I'm gonna keep it a stack, bro. This this shit we in this beautiful thing we in. It's about the art, you know what I'm saying? So when it comes to the animation, when it comes to the track, how you know, how we say shit and all that, we love the art in this, bro. You know what I'm saying? Um, but mainly with these tracks, what you see is what you get. You know what I'm saying? So you know if you fuck with it, you fuck with it. You know, I don't, I don't really be thinking too much. You know what I'm saying? Into the tracks. You know what I'm saying? We here to grasp their attention. 
And then from there, they're going to get to know who Boo the Prince is. You know what I'm saying? Through uh, platforms sure. like that. You know what I mean? I agree. Yeah, that shit reminded me of like Onyx. Don't your guns in the air. You just don't like that kind of anthem shit. You know what I'm saying? More guns, more cream. You know what I'm saying? All that. That's all I do, Fredro. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's all I do. Fredro. Yeah, that's all I do, Fredro. Yeah, that's all I do, Fredro. I actually met him like two years ago in LA at the uh Ron Fest. We got a little festival in LA called Ron Fest. And I had went with uh the homie Nims from Brooklyn. And um he was uh he just happened to be backstage and there was a photographer, he took like Polaroid and all that. He's like, Yo, boo boo, stand over here. And I'm like, All right. And I didn't know it was Fredro next to me until Nems called him up and he performed that uh the um Damn, bro, I can't believe I'm forgetting it. What's that one? The classic joint, man. Last Days. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I was like, yo, man, I just took a Polaroid with Fredo. I, I, I don't know where the uh, the Polaroid is at, though. I don't even know who the photographer was, man. I guess somewhere around there. Somewhere in L.A. Hey, yo, watch what you say. Got a team at the let the fifth screen. Slugs will turn any big G's to a pip sweet. We went from kitchen blood. Oh. Now we out to get green and fading east to west on the offense like a blitz free. We ran swiftly through situations that were sticky. Watch the palm turn to a dome. Man, that's the big league. 225's with me. I'm the old 50. Walk up like fuck. Throwing in my hood like I'm Mitch Green. And don't dare say you with me. I stand for word. We only speak when the players made it in the verse. My word is me. Can't tell you what the man's worth did. Dirt, scramble, work. Best respect my handle twerk. Ask whoever around. I'ma hold it down. During war, my warm heart turns to the coldest smile. You thought shit was sweet. Bet I pull up to your town. Then you play on some talk slick. We gonna drop off a couple rounds. But oh, 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 oh. young jeans on the brow with the beans. Ain't give a shit by what it seems. Lighting up a scheme. Get it regardless by any means. You can't relate. We a different breed. We gon' get it proper. Yeah, yeah. What? More guns. More cream. Yeah, yeah. What? More guns. More cream. Money, nigga. Yeah, yeah. What? More, more guns. Guys, nigga. More cream. Like yeah, yeah. Hey. What? More guns. More hey, cream. Hey, you that street shit. Hey, yeah, that's me. Hey, my alias the Fiends. They know me as D. He the one who's so clean. And play with me. Keys. He was running around the trenches, dirty gun in his jeans. Four pound with the limit. You can't take one of these. Old chop with the stock. We ain't taking it easy. These the casualties of war. Niggas die for a reason. Catch him walking out the store. Then we pop out squeezing. Give him more head taps. Leave him stretched out wheezing. With his eyes wide open like that boy they dreaming. You get quiet around them killers. You ain't no demon. Trading war stories about them niggas we left bleeding. I could have been a deacon. Turn to a heathen, right up on that corner stone, broad day gun swinging. No niggas call bodies, but ain't really meaning. Now he doing the life sentence, so when people be seen it, they know. Young jeans on the brow with the beans. Ain't give a shit by what it seems. Lighting up a scheme, get it regardless by any means. You can't relate, we a different breed. We gon' get it proper. Yeah, yeah, what? More guns, more cream. Yeah, yeah, what? More guns, more cream. Shit, shit, what? More guns, more cream. Shit, shit, what? More guns, more cream. More money, nigga. More vows. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, look, who did that be? Oh, uh, the homie Choop from uh Rochester. Hey, look, if you beefing with somebody and they drive down a block with that, that shit playing, you better run. <laughs> Same. Same. Hey, Same. You, you ain't trying to move out there? Ah, ain't no way. Oh, too cold. Too cold, man. Oh. Too hey, cold. You got you he sound just him. like him. <laughs> you said what? He said you no, sound like the. Sound just, I said you just sound just like him. You can fit right in. Oh man! Hey, you know about um XP the Marksman? That's my people's. Yeah, no, I'm saying you. I know I hooked up with him. You kind of remind me of him too. I, I like him too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I said we got we got some um 
I mean, even though we West Coast, like we got some some rappers that got that style out here, though. Yeah, L.A. L.A. got a few. L.A. got a few. Um, hey, have you? Go ahead. I'm gonna ask you. Did you ever work with? Uh, have you ever worked with Rick Scales yet? Nah. Um, yeah, I want y'all to do something together. I think that's gonna sound good. I don't know. I don't know, man. Like, I think I, I've told them. I think like two or three times I've asked him, but you know, he do his own thing. So now I'm going to have to talk to him for you, man. I'm going to have to make that call and tell him to jump on something. I think it's going to sound good. Yeah. He good peoples though. He, my peoples, like he's, he's one of the promoters I've been telling you about, you know what I'm saying? Other than, you know what I'm saying? He do like, you know, his style different, you know, he in a different lane, you know, but he do more, uh, com more community work. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I would say you was talking about Claremont too. I remember like a couple, couple years ago. Um, I remember, uh, I don't know, you know, Kali, he was doing a lot of shows out there. Yeah. Yeah, that's my homie, too. <laughs> Yo, I don't know out friend, there. I don't, your friends just be saying at all, bro. No, I thought he I thought he was like, I don't, I mean, I don't know where Claremont at, but I thought he was like, gross. Ain't that by Power and, by Powerway? Ain't, ain't Power ain't close to Claremont? No, 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 no. Claremont is like, Claremont's before the eight and before the 52. So, okay. Um, it's a little section, man. A little section. Right next to you got uh Linda Vista and you got Mission Valley and then you pass the eight and it's yeah, I know Mission Valley at Mission Valley by so not, oh, not, oh, Miramar, Miramar the eight then. Kai, Kai no, Miramar. Miramar is uh right above us. You know what I'm You cross the 52 and it turns us to Miramar. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I work I mean, a little bit. So that... nah, but real quick, nah, like I, I made that face because ain't no shows <laughs> happening in Claremont in, in the in like a good 10 years. Oh, okay. Ain't, ain't no venues or nothing, none of that out there. But Kali, my people's though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I don't want yeah, to. Yeah, I think like I'm making it. He was like Grossmont or something. It was somewhere he was. I thought it was over there, but it was probably like somewhere out there. Probably Grossmont. Yeah, I was doing shows. 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 Yeah. Yeah, I used yeah. To you got Poway Bowl. Okay. I used okay. To, white people. White people. The white people love. I used to. I used to make their ass laugh. Their ass laugh, man. I would. They weren't laughing at none of that shit I was doing. <laughs> Nah, so man. You... Like... <laughs> yeah, man. Now we we are on we are worst worst critics, man. Yeah, I agree. I agree. No, but Kylie's my people though. He good people. That's for that's for sure. About this, so you said uh, Ito let you start your own little West Coast faction of, of new cracks. So you, you it's, it's how many other artists is it? Uh, it's just me. You know what I'm saying. The the plan was to build it up. You know what I'm saying. Get it to where you know we grasping the attention. Which the time is now, and uh, we got uh two artists in the works right now that we haven't announced yet, but uh, okay. you know, just prepping them, you know what I'm saying, and and all that, you know, because uh, ain't too much guidance, man, ain't too much guidance, man. We need, nah, we, they don't, we need we to go don't do that no more. Nah, man, you know, I didn't, I didn't have no OGs, so it's just they died, they died out. Tight. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. There's a disconnect though. I don't know if it yeah. happened to every generation or every other generation. It just there's a gap, and it's like I think the OGs too busy trying to be like the young, the the little, the little, the little homies, man. Like at this day, it's, look, fifty is the new what? Shit, shit, twenty five. See yeah. the dude? I know he had to be in his fifties. He had his jeans sagging with with some Jordan Elevens on with the chain. I'm like, nigga, I, nigga, I know he. You could tell, like, you know, when you start getting older, your bones and everything, all that stuff looks start saggy. Mm -hmm. So he look. I know he's somebody grandpa, but but tell him nothing right now. But this is the thing, though, like. I'm still in my twenties, right? But this is the thing. This is the thing. Like, I feel like the whole Griselda thing. You know, what I'm saying them being late thirties, early forties. You know, what I'm saying I feel like that sparked like older cats, the older <laughs> older cats to be like, yo, it's still my time. It's still my. Time. You know what I'm saying? Right. And it's like, yeah, but you, you like people forget to mention like all the behind the scenes work that, you know, the past decade that Gunn did, or, you know what I'm saying, being in the buildings, like people don't count that. They just count the day they got the deal. Like, yeah, you don't oh, get yeah. it overnight. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so uh, that's how it is over here too. Like I get cats like all the time, 50, 51, 52, cats that have been rapping like when I was little in the same spot. Like, yo, you should do this. Like, yeah, I get you this. I can't, take, that, your, like, I can't yeah. take your advice. He ain't, he ain't got no fruit on your tree, brother. Like, how you expect me to, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, and it don't help that Wayne still do, doing what he do. Cause shout out to and Benny, they dropped the track, the track today. Yeah, Big dog. I didn't get the people yet. Yeah, Wayne, hey, look, 
Like I heard, I heard because Benny go first. He's a respectful cat. I could tell. Cat, I could tell. So Benny rap gave Wayne the inverse, but Wayne like shit, man. Like Wayne catch shit. So it's like, damn, yeah, you ain't old heads because now they here because that because look, if we go back, how long we been listening to Lil Wayne? Wayne. I'm mm -hmm. in my forties, so I've been listening to Lil, been listening to Lil Wayne twenties. Yeah, yeah. Wayne started when he was young, though. He started at eight. Yeah, true. But like, but if you got some dudes that's fifty that was rocking with Wayne, they was probably twenty. He was ten or twenty. They if they see still see him see him doing stuff, they be trying to mimic that joint. That joint because that's what art does. That's what people are gonna mimic what they see. I just heard a rapper. She was like, was like, I think it was Doja. Doja Cat was like, I don't buy, I don't pay for shit. Like, but when we see it. Or when the young the young girls see it, they like, oh, I want to dress like Doja Cat, Doja Cat. They go and spend bread, mm. not, not even knowing that she got all that shit for free. Free. Mm. Yeah, you stuff right. happens where, like, I always talk about Super Bowl. You give Tom Brady a fucking fully loaded uh, Dodge Ram. Now, I'm like, oh, like, oh, I want a fully loaded Dodge Ram too. Yeah. And when I go to the deal, that shit like eighty thousand. <laughs> they even drive like Tom Brady, Tom Brady, because he got that joy for. So it's kind of like we imit we try to imitate imitate what we see, but we feel like they putting that they putting that on them people for they know it's gonna influence the the people. Yes, yeah, which power. is why we say we say Nipsey Hussle. We talk about Nipsey Hussle was putting out a, was putting out a thing he wanted us to mimic. He wanted us to mimic ownership, uh, own your own mass master. They're like, yo, we can't let them put that shit out. That shit out. We are gonna start mimicking that. Yeah, right. Yeah. You're right. It's the power of influence for sure. No doubt. It's like that who cloned Tyrone. I always talk about that movie now because that music, see how that music made them want to kill? Then they change they change they change their frequency. They all want to be and hug on you and shit. I'm like, you and shit. I'm like, hell. Yeah, man. <laughs> so what you working on for the run for the rest of the year? Well, um, I had just dropped uh Cultura um the 30th of September. Oh, yes, yeah, too. That was overdue though. That was supposed to release like 2020. I just never Shit just happened, you know what I'm saying? I was just a little stagnant. But uh, that drop, I'm working on a collab project with the homie Two Official. Uh, he from Chicago. And um, finished that in like in a week and a half. So that's that's already just waiting on one more feature. Um, that's coming out next, this month, actually. We just don't know what day. We just gonna let it fly type shit. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I owe the people, man. Like, I feel like oh, once yeah. I got with you... Once I got with E man, like you know what I'm saying? I tapped into that fan base and it was they was rocking with me. It's just I was stagnant like during the pandemic. So it was uh it was a little I kind of feel like I let them down in a way. So so now I'm just trying to work on the output. So anyway, I got that, I got that coming out with uh the homie two official from the Chicago. He got a nice little resume, he works with drum work, you know, Conway's label and all that. So mm -hmm. um Got that. Got an EP coming out. Um, hopefully by January, called All Is Grimy. You know what I'm saying? And um, after that, just a, a few collaboration projects with a few producers. The homie uh, Rob Victim out in Houston. Um, out, pardon me, Austin. I think Austin, Texas. Pardon me, bro. I don't know if they get upset when you confuse a city and shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? They might. Nah, but hey, you gotta tap in and do what you gotta do when a while what they say when I strike when the iron's hot. Cause I think we interviewed the cat out of Jersey. Remember him, Paul, the white dude out of Jersey. I forgot his name, name, but he he became became stagnant. So like he how that wasn't nobody really doing at the time. But then he, he became stagnant. He became stagnant. Then he said. Then he said he felt like the Griseldas, the Rock Marciano. All of them came, but that was the style. The style he been three, four years prior. Yeah. So now he feel like if he come out with, come out with that style, people gonna be like he was copying them, copying them. When he feel like he was already, I forgot his name though, because he was tight. It was it like Warbucks or something? Damn, I can't remember his name. Why you do it out of Jersey? He fired though, but he what he did was he sat on his style and didn't put it put it out because what audio was doing it at the time. At the time. Yo, right. uh, it's it's not it's not the dude that was uh signed to Immortal Tech, Mortal Technique. Damn, I'm trying I'm trying swole. to find the homie swole and could... shit. White boy, he swole. Yeah, he was he was swole too. That dude, you remember yeah. him? I, I, yeah, it's the same dude then. Um, 
I'm trying to see if I, I remember we was talking with him maybe like a year, year or so, maybe. His or, name was like uh, his name uh, was like a, an initial and like some numbers behind it. Mm. I'm trying to think of his name real quick. I, rem I remember him because he had a uh, he had uh, at the New Crack Era tour. We did a Jersey date and he had open. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I don't know oh yeah, 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 but no, because. Yeah, he was, but it was like, yeah, you gotta keep, you gotta keep it going, going. If no matter, no matter if your style ain't hot right, ain't hot right now, it might end up being hot. Uh huh. That's why when people like, <laughs> like what what Ito Ito's always told me, right? As it was like, yo, just stick to your guns, man. It's in the, it has to come to fruition. You know what I'm saying? Stick to your guns. Stick to what, you know, where you good at. It's, it has to. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, eras change, but you gotta, you know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. And what you listening to right now, other than your music? There's some artists out there you fucking. Man, I don't, even, I don't even listen to my shit, man. Nah, man. I did see this. You get up with more cream. I was like, damn, he don't want to hear his shit. Don't hear his shit. <laughs> nah, man. I had, a, I, had a, I had an emergency phone call. Pardon me on that, but uh. Oh yeah, no, it's all good. It uh, nah, I don't like listening to my own shit, man. I be at like uh family functions and all that. But yo, we gonna play something? I'm like, don't play that shit. I'm leaving the crib. I'm leaving, man. Like, don't play my shit, man. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? It's just. I don't know why. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I, I don't know what's going on. No, you getting in, you getting in your own. You getting in. You getting in. Your, let that shit play. Nah, nah. I just, hey, his I, nah. His name was Jay Bucks. I look. I just found it. He had a little backdrop of all the Source magazine covers behind him when we when we talked to him. But yeah, he was like like. And his music do sound bad, but it's like what it is is what it is is yeah. If you like that and everybody else doing it, and you try to come back out with it. You may, you may, you may jump right in line or look at it, and be like, "Oh, he clout chasing, oh, he clout chasing." Yeah. The drill. That's why I want the drill rap, rap, right? All these drill artists count. Did everybody want to do a drill, a drill song? Yeah. yeah. But that shit is, but that shit is like, like the what's the lady name? I'm trying to get her on. Yeah, the, the fake. You seen the grandma that Snoop and Snoop endorsed? She rapping. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she rapping there. It, it, it's people think it's corny, but when you listen to the lyrics, she's she talking real shit like. Y'all acting like the hood. Look, you acting like oh, you from the trap, but the trap ain't a nice place. Mm -mm. That's not a. You don't. Y'all glorify glorify something that ain't real life. Yeah. And yeah. I mean, maybe an older lady doing he doing it, but I'm like shit. Maybe one of people may want to hear. Yeah, like you got this, Snoop Coast on sign. Yeah, yeah. To each his own. Like that's the that's the beautiful part. That's why I don't get too deep into the conversations. Like I know on Twitter that shit. Damn, it's all the people talk about all day. <laughs> Yo, is he really living his raps? Like, yo, he said this bar. Does it really mean that he be over here? Like, but like, yo, sound like just appreciate the art, man. Yeah, it's cool to critique, right? Critique the sound, critique the flow, critique, you know what I'm saying? The style, the images, like if the, if it's good quality and that and all that. Like, but as far as the policing, like, damn, I I guess I guess it come with it, but sheesh, like I just but hate they it. do it, they 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 do that because like we talk to a lot of artists, so we they do it because some people take that take that what y'all saying y'all saying and they yeah. want to be like you, so yeah. they gonna do that. We remember the dude we had. Oh, he lived in like like dude lived in like Denmark. We we brought him on, motherfucker had on Rasta Rasta stuff. We like yo, <laughs> he like yeah man. I I just I grew up in the culture. All I did is follow the coach. I'm like, damn, that means that. People listen. People listen to this stuff, and they they want to know if you're really doing it. Cause they like, damn it, if he really doing, it, I need to go out there and do that shit, shit too. <laughs> so I can part of the culture too. So so you got. I mean, it, it's just it's just like I said. I forgot if, that. If it comes with it, you know, see the critiquing and all that is cool. But it's just it, it, sometimes it be excessive, man. Like be too deep, way too deep. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, like, I mean, Big L used to talk about killing people all the time. Like, did he have any bodies? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Right? Nobody knows. And I don't think no one cared as far as consumers of at that time. Like, like, like social media was a big, like people now like, well, LeBron James, LeBron James, and Michael Jordan. I get a lot of shit on social media, good and bad. But I think if Jordan play in this, in this era, that works. Like, he would get that same, because right now all you see is, is Jordan, people who just Jordan, Jordan is a Jordan is a big, can't do this, can't do that, can't do nothing wrong because he didn't have to have every every single part of his private life scrutin scrutinized time he made a post on a social media platform like LeBron does. So it's mm -hmm. kind of different because like yeah, Big L, Jay Z, and all them when they came when they first came out, 
Biggie, Pac, all of them. You think, man, what you think they be saying about Pac if he was on social media? Man, they be going for hard, like fake ass, gank ass, gang, this, this, this. Yo, Pac wasn't even a fake, he wasn't even a fake gangster though. He was he was really doing what he was doing. Then what is the where do you draw the line, right? Like, or do you just ignore it? I would I would I would say you probably just ignore. Well, you, mean, well, you, you know, mean, you know what you, you're really doing. You're saying, you're saying he, re- he he was a real gangster. No, no, I mean, like, all right, Pac had his issues, his issues with his run-ins with the law, right? So, yeah. Pac wasn't talking about killing people in his songs. Not that I can think of off top. Like, I mean, hit him up. He was that was him beefing with not with right. with Biggie. Mm-hmm. But the songs was just songs, like songs, like not now, like every song now, for the most part. Most artists, you know, is you know they they talking about in different ways, ways how they gonna or how they how they man like battle rap, battle rap like you like yo how many how many different guns can you? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good. One. How many different ways can you kill somebody? <laughs> and the females they 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 how, who pussy fatter or who this? I'm like yo, but on the Classic. flip side, yeah, I think if Pac was rapping now. In this era, and Biggie too, because people will be fact checking the things that they say. They say, yeah, yeah. Like I said, like I said, like I guess it comes with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, but it's just my thoughts is like, man, like it's just obviously maybe because I ain't a consumer like everybody else is. You know what I'm saying? But um, like let's not get it twisted though. Like I ain't gonna sit here in front like yo, all that shit's an image. They don't, like I don't got nah. I'm not saying none of that because we've seen it, been around it, done it. But it's just I feel like it's not our job or anybody else's job to like imagine imagine me crim- incriminating myself and being with details and and all that. You know what I'm saying? Like I rather I rather have the consumers. Yo, yo, that shit was witty. Like yo, that shit was ill. Like this this bar. Like talking about the art of rap. You get what I'm saying? Rather than yeah, but look, even an artist, an uh, artist can paint a picture of something. He wasn't necessarily there. Yeah. You know, like a like a real artist. Like they they drawn something. So I think like E40 said it the best. He, he said, look, who is really out there doing all this shit? We say we saying when we be dead or in jail. So yeah. it is that that summed it up for me. Like, all right, no, because you could see your man's get shot. You could see his you could see your man's get cheated on by his baby mom and he go and fuck up. You could see that you ain't necessarily barely it, it wasn't a situation you went through, but you saw it, you witnessed it, and you put it out out on the paper. It, I mean that's real to me. You feel like you're not really like look, real gangsters came came. I mean, I don't know, I ain't gonna out there that's a generalized state by statement. When growing up, people who was really doing a gang banging shit and all that shit, they could couldn't really rap good. <laughs> Now you got, now you got, they wanted to rap, but some of them couldn't really rap that good. Or they didn't have the business sense of like, yo, cause you can't be really in the streets and be a rapper that's going to be marketed big by these, by these companies. Cause yeah. you're going to have, like, they going to be scared of you. So you ain't going to really be able to do that like, like that anyway. And if you um, are, you won't last long. You know what I'm saying? The thugs I know in my city, like, if they young, then that's a whole different ball game, right? Because like you got the 16, 17, 18, 19, I think to like 20 years old, like it's the social media shit is heavy, you know what I'm saying? But the people like who I seen growing up, you know what I'm saying, they on social media, but they don't got no profile photos, they don't got no posts, like they don't got no, you know what I'm saying? It's like they in the dark. They ain't doing that. You know so they ain't doing that. I mean, Damn, bro, I would just tell people all the time. Like, I, first of all, I don't get into the conversations because I'm gonna end up saying something and then it's gonna well, be we hard. don't really we don't like talking talking about stuff like that. On we don't talk about nothing criminal, man. We criminal, man. We ain't those other podcasts. We just want because you know some people some podcasts one has want you to say say everything yeah. they did and shit. Then they want then they want everybody to see, but nah, we'll yeah, get yeah, down yeah. like that. I'm just, I'm, yeah, man. I'm thinking as like people who like the consumers, like the fans. You know what I'm saying? Like they go extra hard trying to find out. Like yo, nah, they want to know. They want to know shit, man. Wow. They want to know if you really. They want to know if you really write your shit. They want to know if you really did what you did. Yeah, yeah. But but nah, man. We look. We look. We 
We appreciate you though stopping by, stopping by, man. I know you do. I know you about to take off because you got that sound. Like all, me and Paul, we talk rappers, rappers all the time. So we tell them some people just got the sound, man. Sound, man. Like video and the video fit the fucking song perfectly. A little grimy, little grimy looking. You talking about more cream? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Uh, I, I listened to Culture in the in the car yesterday, so I I, I fool with that one too. With that one too, whole project. Nah, and once and once uh when you can y'all shoot me out emails, I'll shoot you, I'll shoot y'all the new joint, the, the collab joint. That one uh that one shows a lot more growth. You know what I'm saying? Cause cultura was they old joints from you know years ago. You know what I'm saying? And obviously, mm. you know, since I'm still I, I I'm nowhere near my prime, nowhere near like where I'm supposed to be. So the growth you can see it, like for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? And this collab joint, like I said, just finished two weeks ago. You know what I'm saying? We finished that shit in a week. So the growth is there. You know what I'm saying? Y'all go see. You know, Buddha Prince progressing, you know what I'm saying? Progressing, progressing. And you know what I'm saying? We just trying to uh turn this into a business, man. You know what I'm saying? Turn it into a business. You know what I'm saying? Look, last question, man. You you said you 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 Mexican, man. You listen to Takashi? All right, you ain't gotta answer that. Hey, look, let everybody know where you're from, man. Let everybody know how they can reach right. out to you. Yeah, man. Motherfucker. Go ahead, Paul. Go ahead, Paul. Motherfucker. Nah, I'll, I'll, I'll they said that fool, um, he got to stay in the Dominican Republic for six months. Yeah, man. Yeah. What he do? About this shit. Man, he, he beat be up a producer out there. Yeah. yeah. Damn. He ain't yeah. gonna learn, huh? That fool be doing some wild shit. And he right. was fucking. He was, I remember he was beefing with some dude the other, the other day. Then he was like having. He had to do baby mama all in the video and shit. Like he doing some weird ass shit. <clears throat> yeah, he beat it with. That's his. That's his mo, man. That's his mo. Like he didn't made a, but he didn't made a killing off that damn uh lane that he didn't make. Cause look, he made a lane. I mean, or they made a lane for him People, to do to to me, that stuff. To me, to me, like they get mad at six nine, but if you get mad at six nine, you gotta get mad at fifty six. Cause fifty six started all that shit, man. Yeah, he exactly. started. He started trolling, and then people just going worse and worse. So you get six nine, and now to me, I think Sexy Red is a troll. <laughs> she she the same way. She up there barefooted, twerking, <laughs> pregnant, looking crazy. So she a tro like everybody gotta to. It ain't your music no more. You gotta do some extra shit and be a troll to yeah, get them views and shit and go viral. You can't just go. Hey, look. Music no hey, more. look. I don't, you said you in your twenties. <laughs> Dave Chappelle show came out in two thousand three, and and he had a skit at where he they was they wanted him they they was bringing him out as a rapper, and, and he was like, man, I ain't really got no gimmick though. They they was like, man, just put legs. So that motherfucker had put on some legs, make him look like he was a goat. <laughs> and he was dancing on stage and shit. <laughs> no, man, crazy. But nah, but yeah, he right though. A lot, a lot of rappers got gimmick, gimmicks, or they or they gimmicky, right? Like if yeah. I if I could put like I listen to that song, I don't like the song, but that one with Chris A. Rock and the little Mabu dude. Oh yeah, that blue face. That song. Yeah. He was like, "Fuck blue face." I had, to. but I'm like, "Yo, the song had came out 24 hours later." Red brought her out at a at a cons at a. The whole crowd knew that shit. And the song that just came out like 20, 20. I'm like, how the whole crowd fuck with Blueface had to find a new, find a new. She That's just like the motherfucker. I saw this shit myself one time, man. It was like eight o'clock in the morning. She went on live. It was like 50,000 people on that bitch already. I was like, God damn. damn. And it was like, she just went on live. It was like one minute to live. She already had 50,000 people watching her. I'm like, God damn. So I don't <laughs> know why they like her like that, but she, she popping, popping. Like Krayshawn is like they love Krayshawn, but yeah. then look, you got people like Boo Boo the Prince who got them bars. Yeah, if he went, he went live right now as an icon, content, content, I mean, as a hitter, ain't gonna be no fifty thousand people on there. He gotta go but live. They want to in the video. But you know, fifty thousand. You got you gotta have Krayshawn on the uh, <laughs> on the uh, on the, on the on, and then rap on that joint. But that's shit that people do. People will say, you say, you know what? I got a new song put out. I'm a reach. I'm a reach out saying fifty k. And then I'm gonna have her put me on her live. Right? Now people know Boo Boo the Prince. Prince. Yeah. That shit a hustle though, man. You gotta pay them fools like a thousand dollars and they put you in their story for one day. Nah, man. man I, I don't extra, believe it's in that. Extra, for real. It's yeah. extra, man. Like, I'm good though. I'm good, man. No, nah, I know. I got a feel a feeling. I'm gonna see your name. A whole lot more, more. Yeah, man. And uh, we on the we, we on the road, man. We on the road. We got a little tour coming up, a little weekend run. Um <coughs> In two weeks, actually, we're going to hit Chicago, the 16th, Detroit, the 17th, 
and Cleveland, Ohio, the 18th. So we be doing pulling a little run, see, you know, see what happens. You know what I'm saying? This is just me and my team getting a, a, a nice little push. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Uh, the next right, year, the- it's, it's gonna be boo boo the whole year. You know what I'm saying? No, we're gonna be on the lookout. Let everybody know how they can find you, man. Like anything you want to lead the listeners, anything, any advice you want you're gonna give an aspiring artist. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My vision has always been, man. Like I'm I'm a man of the people, a man of my city, I represent my city when I go out to state. So I always tell people, like, when you think of Cali, it ain't just LA no more. It ain't just the Bay. You know what I'm saying? It's Deco Zoo. You know what I'm saying? I think Uzu is basically another word for San Diego. You know what I'm saying? San Diego, they think of vacation, they think of the nice shit, the touristy shit, but they go zoo is a whole different ball game. You know what I'm saying? You seek, you find type shit. So I always try to make sure to explain that. You know what I mean? But for the most part, anywhere, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, uh, threads, at Boo with a Prince. No underscores, no spaces, no periods, no 50,000 numbers behind it. Just Boo with a Prince. B-U-B-U, the, spelled correctly, not with an A or anything like that, and Prince regular. You know what I'm saying? Man, it Keep was, it simple and professional. It was um, it was a No Jumper podcast uh, show a little while ago. They had Wack 100 on there, and then Adam was asking um, Wack, Wack, he was like, San Diego soft? And he was like, who the hell told you San Diego saw? <laughs> he was like, hell no. Nah. He was like, nah, bro. He said, he said, he said, I got some ones out there. He said, he said, it's a lot of places. He said, don't let that be. Hey, look, man, look. I didn't I didn't did some dummy missions into San Diego and I was like, I ain't going over there, going over there, bro. <laughs> I mean just turn my ass back around ass back around though. That's why, like, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't gonna get into arguments with nobody, bro, about that. Like, I don't need to prove shit to you. You go over there and you see you fine, man. Yeah, it's it's like that everywhere. You go to certain parts of LA, it's beautiful, man. There ain't nothing, no trouble. But you go, you know what I'm saying? But you go to Compton, Inglewood, South Central, and it's right. Like you see what they say, what they say, barely in some of them places, you barely see the water in some of them yeah. little shit. Hey, I had um just right by me. I live in Oceanside. I had two like this year, they had two murders, like. I could probably like it would take me five minutes to walk down the street where they had them two murders at, and I nah. think I live in a good neighborhood. So nah, shit. <laughs> man. Oh, oh, listen, bro. Like, it's crazy because we on the west side, right? You, I think it's like not. I think it's like less than a mile. You get to like the Air Pacific Beach area, like mm-hmm. after Pacific Beach, it's the whole strip that leads you straight to the water. You have any idea how many shootings, stabbings, robberies, murders have happened at the beach at Mission Beach? What? Uh, Out of here, man. That's, hey, send them. Hey, yeah, send them to uh, say, send them to San Ysidro and Chula Vista. If they want to all that, to man. All it's <laughs> it's everywhere if you seek it. I'm telling you, man. Like yeah, everybody, everybody on the east, the southeast, they all come to the west because thinking they're gonna get away from it. But that, what do you know? That's where everybody goes to. Even thinking they get get away. Hey, with look, it. I was shook in the city one time. I, I was shook going to next one time. Shit, I was like, yo. National City ain't no joke. Oh, yeah. I used nah. to be scared of National City. <laughs> I was scared of National City just because the name. I was like, National City, what the fuck is this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then yeah. we got the other thing is too, man, we kind of close to the border. So shit, you gotta worry about the border, all that shit popping off over there. And y'all yeah. saw that shit, um, the cartel telling everybody not to make no fentanyl no more. Don't put fentanyl in they dope no more. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they send out they good. It. Yeah, they told they too much. Shit. Man, look. I ain't even look. Not to get too far into that stuff, to that stuff, but I didn't even know they had their own little like PR teams and representatives that we had. Because when the remember when remember when the uh people the uh ha- Haiti, but they thought they was from the DR, so they killed killed them when they when they got across the border to Mexico. Mexico, yeah. the mistake, and they put out a fucking like yeah, an NBA they they putting out a state statement. They got them statement saying we we advise. It was a mistake identity. I was like, damn, they, they got that shit set up like, like a real fucking organization. So yeah. that's dope that they did that. Cause too many people, man, they getting fed fed and all gonna have a whole that shit kill it. They put that shit, they put that shit in the Halloween candy. You got you can't no, that's what, uh, I was it was funny just for the podcast, Lil Boosie. I was listening to Lil Boosie interview, and he was like, Man, you got fed and all it's killing the crackheads that been around like 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. They take one, they take two things, they said, no, nah, they be dead. They was gonna crack their whole goddamn life, but nothing wrong with them. Shit. Crazy, man. Yeah, leave that fentanyl alone. Fuck out of here. Yeah, had a few homes back from that, man. Yeah, because they didn't even know that shit. That shit was laced with. 
They ain't even know. Because they say a lot of that shit. They don't know that shit. Lace. They, they just man, see some that of them, Man, it was one day I, I remember I was at work and somebody said, can I get some fentanyl? I was like, they prescribed that shit? I was like, why the fuck would you take some shit that be killing people off? Yeah, nah. They like, take it little doses so though for, for pain. It's real fuck popular, that. man. Little joints, little blue joints, you know what I'm talking about? So that's Yeah. Just, Hard to believe, man, but... hey, they want the people want the people, people ultimate high. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. So that's the thing. If you lace the the weed and then they high as hell, they hell, they get back for that. Yeah. Because they but they don't know their body can't take it. Mm-hmm. They just like, yo, give me some more of that whatever you gave me last time. <laughs> whatever took my mind off, whatever it is I don't need Facts. Facts. Oh, hours. Let me get that. Yeah. Let me get let me get that, bro. You need oh, you need one fifty four. I got you. Yeah. I give my mama a uh, wash a washing machine and dryer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me chop off a finger real quick. I got you. But but look, hey man, hey, good. Thank you for pulling up because I because I it was short. But but my thing is this. My thing is this. I scour like the new releases on iTunes yeah. and shit like shit like that. I find all these artists and I and I yo. We gotta get we gotta get him on like quick because uh, look and not to say not to say that you one of them dudes that when you take off you to forget people that but I was like if we I want to get him now before he blow up because it might it might be harder to interview at time so okay appreciate you pulling He's up everything thank you so much man for real for real right, y'all. Lot, man. stay up man stay doing your thing right, we gonna stay yeah, I'm gonna have to catch you. you I'm gonna have to catch up with you whenever you out here doing the show or something yeah where you at I mean, yeah Ocean yeah Ocean side. You out here? Yeah. yeah. Oh man. That's why you think I'm talking about ACLs and stuff. I I, I, I just I just thought you was out here when you were stationed out here. No, no, no. He stayed. He stayed, he stayed out there. I moved to New York City. Oh, we yeah, don't connect you. for show. Sure. Yeah, yeah, I was I was looking at your page. I see a lot of people that I deal with follow you too. I see uh uh West Coast Radio follow you too. Mm-hmm. Oh, them the homies. Them the homies. West Coast Radio. That's so. Shout out yeah. to them. Nah, no yeah, doubt. Yeah, I'm gonna link up with you, man. I didn't know that, man. Yeah, we family now. Okay, no doubt. Yo, you say you uh 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 in Brooklyn? Yeah. Okay, I'm out there January uh the first weekend of January. Hey, I was gonna say I was gonna say I, I said shit, you probably you probably end up seeing him before you see me. See like you you a New Yorker man, you just don't want to go out there because it's too cold. But see like you you need to go and go to New York. <laughs> the city the city different though. The city uh, I'm telling you man that weekend in upstate it was it was it was that shit was <laughs> world, man. Nah, you don't want to go up. You don't want to live upstate. Nah, man, shit was crazy. New York City could be more easier for you because you can you can move around and you can get into different things, different things. Upstate, you ain't really get, but you're gonna be frozen doing nah, it. So, nah, 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 crazy, crazy. But I'm out there. Uh, maybe yeah. I'll, I'll tap in with you, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. I hit you. Up. I see my. I see my. I'm gonna see my number, but the little kids call it math. I see my math. Okay, no doubt. Why they call? It?